In 2014, commissioners decided to do a wholesale recommissioning of mental health services in Bristol, including dementia, and having done a public consultation, the commissioners decided to split dementia away from the main stream of mental health services and a separate dementia stream was commissioned separately. The focus really was for this to be a primary care managed condition and that the GPs should be pivotal in the long-term management of a long-term condition with extra specialist support provided by the Dementia Wellbeing Service and Devon Partnership in collaboration with the Alzheimer's Society were successful in that bid. The Dementia Wellbeing Service has changed the model both of support for primary care but also for service users and carers. Each GP now has a LINK practitioner working alongside a LINK Dementia Navigator who meet with the GPs regularly. For an initial referral, we would uh, go out and visit the person and usually they'll have some family members there. It's a chance for us to introduce ourselves and talk about the service. We're able to signpost people to local groups and local services that might be able to support them better at home. Local groups that um, sort of like day centres or seeing for the brain, things like that. We can support people to try out. So everyone that we support has a wellbeing plan. That's a person-centred document that we build with them. It's a sort of holistic document that they can take with them to GP appointments or hospital appointments so that other healthcare professionals can sort of get an understanding of who they are as a person. We offer a lot of support for carers alongside people with dementia. So we meet, we might meet with people by themselves or if they've got family and carers, we, we meet with whoever wants to meet with us. I'm married to Barbara. We've been married 54 years. And um, unfortunately, she's had symptoms of dementia since 1999. So that's what brought us into contact with Devon Partnership Trust and the Dementia Wellbeing Service. Before the Wellbeing Service came into being, you could ring your GP, you could ring the hospital, you could ring a number of different agencies and you'd be passed from pillar to post. Now, when you get a diagnosis, it goes back to your GP, you're referred to the Dementia Wellbeing Service and you get allocated a navigator, so you've just got one point of contact now, which is for a carer, is brilliant. One of the sort of unique features of the service is that we don't ever discharge someone. We are with people, forming relationships, and what service users and carers tell us they particularly value is that consistency of relationship, often from diagnosis to the end of life. About six years ago, my brother developed dementia, so I cared for him as much as I could at that particular time. Then in 2016, he went into a care home because it got just too much for me. And he's there and he seems, he seems to be fairly happy within himself. The Care Home Liaison team work into various nursing and residential homes across the locality of Bristol. The function of the team really is to help support homes and the staff within them to better support the residents that are living there. We also do work with individuals living there on a one-to-one -one basis so we can take referrals as well. But the idea is if we best support the staff within the home and the GPs as well that are attached to these homes then we can problem shoot anything before it becomes difficult and avoid hospital admissions. They link up with the care home where my brother is and they sat down with me and the staff at one stage to see what were the best services, as it were, that the care home could give my brother. One of our community development coordinators takes the lead on providing dementia education to Bristol's primary and secondary schools. The main remit of my role is to help create the first dementia-friendly youth generation in Bristol schools. It's a really exciting role and I'm going into a range of schools across Bristol trying to help raise dementia awareness and it's part of the aim to help Bristol to become more dementia friendly as a city. I've been delivering in schools in Bristol for the last 18 months and I am now working with over 30 schools and in that time I've delivered over 200 sessions, worked with approximately 9,000 pupils and have created over 4,000 dementia friends, which is amazing. To the best of my knowledge, it is unique and something that we're really proud to be delivering. I think the impact is very significant already and it's something that would be fabulous if we could roll it out further.
Now we're five years into the service, we're trying not to rest on our success, constantly looking forward and thinking about how to change the service to meet the needs that arise. We felt there was a need for intensive input in some crisis situations and so we've developed our enhanced support function. Our aspiration has been to continue the work that we've developed over the last five years to make Bristol a more dementia aware and more dementia friendly community, to increase the confidence of primary care in supporting people living with dementia, to listen to feedback, to adapt our service according to that feedback and to grow and prosper in the future. The very fact that all the services, as it were, are together in one service, uh, it is a good model that should be taking place right throughout the NHS.